Doctor Hassan Ayariga, a leader, founder, a de ema APC Amanyukuno. Your Excellency, Doctor Hassan Ayariga, good morning. Good morning to you and uh, good morning to your listeners. How have the light been treating you, sir? Uh, life is good. Uh, we have been on a, we've been quiet on our own way. And uh, uh, everything is okay. We are happy. We are having a peaceful atmosphere. And that is all about life. Wow. And then we seek your indulgence this morning to um, know, come to you to know about what happened in the elections, your okay, thoughts uh, okay. on the just ended elections, sir. I will reserve my thoughts on the just ended elections uh, because uh, everybody has various views on the just ended elections, and all depends on the uh, the experiences and where you went and what you saw and the different things that we saw. Now elections are over. If we want to say that yes, we had a free, fair election or a credible election. Somebody will say, yes, it's credible. Somebody will say, no, it's not credible. Somebody will say there were hinges here and there, depending on the kind of experience you encountered. So we cannot generalize it. But all that I can say, it went smoothly, at least. Number two, it was a new voter register, and nobody complained about the voter register. That is where I am happy about that. Even with a new voter register, people were not complaining about the voter register. People were not complaining about the voting processes. People were not complaining about uh, the, the fairness. Okay. But people are complaining about the coalition of the results. Are you with me? Yeah, and I'm with you, sir. If, and if people are complaining about the coalition of results, was not transparent and credible, that I can say, I cannot say much to. Because depending on where you were and how the results were collated and the figures you have. But, I mean, using a new voter register to get that far, I think I would say that it's, 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 it's okay. Mm. The NDC, the largest opposition party in Ghana, is not assenting to the results of the just-ended elections. And then the six presidential candidates, of which you were one of them, uh, called on the NDC that they should use judicial means to address these electoral grievances. What were you trying to pontificate? Then. We are not calling on NDC. We are calling on Ghanaians. Okay. It's not NDC. NDC is not the only party that went into the elections. Sure. And NDC is not the only party that have probably one or two challenges. Everybody encountered his own or uh, okay. uh, their own challenges. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah. We are yeah. saying that once the result has been announced and the president elect has been pronounced, the only thing now left for us is we should try as much as we all can to promote peace and unity among us. Mm. Because no matter the situation, no matter what happens in an election, there will always be only one winner. We but, 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 sir, not in a situation uh, when, when you know that you've been cheated in the elections. You, you see, when you say that, when you say that, we all have, like, I can tell you, uh, I also have experienced one or two things. Okay. But cheating in the elections is not only the EC that can do that. It could be that your party members were weak and yeah. allowed people to cheat you. Are you with me? It yeah. could also be that the coalition was wrongly done and allowed people to cheat you. It could also be that you were not, uh, 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 you were not vigilant and you allowed somebody to dribble you. So cheating can come from any part of the election. It does not necessarily okay, mean that it's coming from the east. It could also come from your party members that they were weak. They didn't look, they didn't pay attention. Are you with me? They did yeah. travel put police stations, a uh, police agent, and somebody did what he wanted to do. Are you with me? So mm. those ones, once you allow it and it's done, and now you come and say you don't want it, you want a yes, you have the right to say that. But you should have prevented it. Are you with me? Yeah. You have police agents all over the place. And you did not prevent it from announcing there, and you allow it to be announced, and then you say you are too busy there. You should not allow it to be announced once you know that something went wrong. You don't allow that. But once you have allowed that and it's gone, so what are you going to say again? That means you are not vigilant enough. 
Are you with me? Yeah. That is, the, that is what I'm talking about. Now it's over. President-elect has been announced. All we want now is peace. Look, I tell you, I also disagree with some part of the issues. Uh, 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 pro, uh, what do you call it? Uh, election. Some part of the election uh, malpractice. I disagree in some part. But I accept it. Not because I, I don't know how, what to go, what to do. But for the sake of peace, that sometimes that you accept something not because you are wrong, but because you are right and you want it to go. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are instances where you, you and your wife are at home, your wife will say something and you know that what she's saying is not right, but it's okay, see that, I, okay, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Let it go. I, I, are you with me? But if the NDC or any party has problems with these elections, we don't have to go to the street and be burning ties and fighting and, mm -hmm. and, and trying to do all sorts. The, the people who are out there, that you are going to burn ties and fight, they were not the people who had the electoral commission or they were not the people who had the police station who probably cheated you. No. The mm. properties you will burn and the vandalism you will do, these people are innocent people. They are not part of the election. Mm. Are you with me? Yeah. So let us not go and cause okay. trouble where it is not Once necessary. Wherever we are going to go and cause trouble, those people are innocent. Those people marching today and cost and, and then saying they won't agree, they won't, and some say they won't agree. Some of them don't even understand the reason why we are where we are. We need to educate each other and let each other look. Elections, just, the next two years, we'll all start campaigning again. Am I right? Sure. Nanado will not be president again. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Sure. So work towards what you want to get and get it. We, 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 look, this country is the only thing we have. That's, that's it. In 2012, I mm. organized the same kind of uh, uh, team that when President Mahama was president and Nana Akufuado was candidate, Nana Akufuado, and went to court, I organized presidential candidates. We went to Nana Akufuado's house and we told him, accept the verdict, no matter the, 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 the outcome. And you, listen, you heard what Nana Akufuado said. He said that I disagree with the verdict of the, uh, the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. but I accept okay, it. Then. Yeah. Once what was that for? For peace. Not because he could, they can't say to the people, go to the street and fight. Sir, let's... Okay, man, I'm not done. Okay. We okay. also went again to President Mahama and told him, President Mahama, if the verdict comes and you are not the President of the Republic, accept it. He agreed. He said, no problem. In the interest of the, the country, if he is not elect, President elect, and then the EC, uh, the Supreme Court says he's not the one, he's willing to step down. Are you mm. with me? That is the role some of us play. So this year again, we are seeing some kind of uh, what you call demonstrations all over, and people trying to say no, they cannot sub uh, 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 attend the will of the people. We the people, there must be an audit account. Look, if you are asking for audit account, to do what with the audit account, for instance? If you ask for an audit account and the auditors come and audit it, an independent audit, and say, okay, they have audited it and they were floundering. How are you going to turn the result for yourself? Before you ask for audit account, okay. it is for you to go to the right institution, okay, maybe to the court, and the court will say, I want an independent audit account to audit the result. But then, the court, then the court, hold on, let me finish. Okay. Then the court will give an independent audit account, and, and, and give an instruction for an independent audit account. Once they get that independent audit account, instructed by the court, and then they will now use the independent court to see whether the results were right or wrong, or whether they were found somewhere or wrong. When they have it, they can now determine and say, look, this election must go again. Or, Mr. President, Nanado is not president. We have to, re uh, we have to go again and pay the records. We have to go a second round. Or pay the records. We have acknowledged the re uh, uh, results. Let's go and vote again. Are you with me? That is the only body in this world the only body in the world that can overturn this this resource today or this election today is the courts of Ghana, not even any court in any part of the world. Not even in the U.S. court can do that. Mm. Because the Constitution okay, of then. Ghana gives Once our Supreme Court the only seven. power to direct the EC to do A or B. Nobody can do it. Mm. So if we have go on the street and we are running around and fighting and doing we are wasting our time. Mm. Are you with me? Yeah. We are wasting our time. Hmm. We are wasting people's time. We are just causing trouble. Hmm. The first thing to do if you have grievances, I have, I don't accept. I'm going straight to court 
you file your petition, you go to court 42 days. Not more than 42 days. You will hear the result. And then we have a peaceful country. Whether you won, you lost, or who won, or who lost. But what we are doing now, we are inside. It's Christmas, for God's sake. And people, you keep inciting people. They are going to more. They are hooligans on the street who only want that opportunity to cause mayhem. Uh, but, 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 sir, um, former President Mahama, in one of his engagements with the party faithfuls, called on them to rise up to the occasion by okay, one, then. rejecting the electoral results, presidential uh, results, and two, that the, a certain electoral rules were flouted, leading to the loss of the NDC, and that this must arise so that their will will not be subverted by the government in power and the EC. What's your take on these statements, sir? That even have some democratic processes. It is not supposed to be an abnormal process to use that language. You are supposed to use the democratic language, democratic rules of engagement to be able to address those situations. The former president knows it very well. Are you with me? So right. you speak to what is right, not what opinions of people are. You need to prove A, B, C. Look, I, I had a candidate who, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, my driver went and voted in a particular police station. He told me that, Daddy, I said, yes. I was monitoring to see the number of votes they count. When they counted, he said, Daddy, you got zero there. And I was shocked. My own driver went and voted for me in a particular police at Dominic. Mm -hmm. okay, but when they counted, I got zero. Point seven. You think we all don't have challenges? We do. You think we all don't know that what happened? We all know. But what can you do? At this time, what can we do? Somebody will say, you didn't even get 1%. Why are you fighting about one vote? Am I right? But it is not about fighting mm. about one vote. It's about doing the right thing. Because if we continue to do the right thing, the one vote and two votes will come to winning an election. So if we have problems, let's address it in the way that everybody will see it and will, have, will be right. But if we go to the street, it's not going to address the problem. No matter how many demonstrations you make, will not change anything. The only time you can change things is when you use the legal means in the right way. And don't forget, I, I have to Nayarga, I will not put my child on the street to go and demonstrate. John Mahama will not do that. Nana Kufado will not put his children on the street to go and demonstrate. But people's children are on the street demonstrating. Okay, then, For what? Okay. Maybe they so Let's they're... use the right means. You see, Nobody is against demonstration. Don't take, don't, don't misquote me. Or okay. don't, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> all I'm saying is that we all are not against demonstration. But you see, you only ask for the right thing when you are denied. Then you go demonstrating. Are you with me? Yeah. Demonstration is always the last resort, not the first. In any democratical process, are you with me? Mm -hmm. It is when you are refused. You're right. Legally. Then you say, look, we went to this, we did this, they refused. Then you can demonstrate. But you don't start with demonstration. Demonstration is the last thing to do. I don't speak for NDC. I don't speak for MPP. I speak for Ghana and I speak for APC and speak what is right against what is wrong. I will not seek to allow anybody to do the wrong thing because I like him or I dislike him. Or allow anybody okay, to do. Then. I think One, that we two, are growing, two, we are maturing seven. in this game. And as we are maturing in this game, let's learn the game of maturity. Okay? Because you see, we are presidents to set. If I have a problem today with the electoral process and I do know I have one, the, the best place to go, I go to the court and go and uh, uh, present my case there. I won't go to the street. The street makes me look weak. The street makes me look as if I don't know what I'm doing. I did a, a, a street campaign. No, apart from John Mahama and Nana Akufadu, I'll put it in record. No presidential candidate has campaigned like Hassan Ayerga. Mm -hmm. No presidential campaign. And I can, I can say it anywhere. But the vote I got, I think somebody was sharing us votes. But, Are you with me? Yeah. So I mean, I did not go anywhere. Move. She doesn't even know any region. Mm -hmm. But she got votes. They shared, I think they shared the votes for everybody. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, they're just calling. Oh, hey, just about to give him this one. Just about to give him this one. Just to, okay. So you see. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. See, so, but now it's over. Let's maintain peace. Look, we should be stakeholders of peace. My brother, I am the youngest presidential candidate in the history of Ghana. Mm. From 2012 up to date, I'm still the youngest presidential candidate. Wow. What I want is peace for my country, not winning an election and having a, a war. How will you prefer? What will you prefer? To have a war and winning an election or to lose an election and have a peaceful country? Mm. Because if you, are, if you are president at war, you are no president. Nobody recognizes you. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Sure. But if you think, look, I, what, is, what is in presidency at all, in any case, if not greedy people who are looking for it by all means or by all costs, what is in there? You want to serve the people. The people say, I don't want you to serve me. I said, if I You want to work for somebody. The person says, no, I don't want you to work for me. Is it a problem? No. Walk away. Okay, Walk away. Mm. Mm. I have gone around to campaign. But I've come to a realization that Ghanaians themselves do not want what is good. Mm. Ghanaians don't want what is good. I go to places where Ghanaians were asking me, give me 20 Ghana cities to vote. If you don't give us money, we don't vote. We have sold our conscience for vote buying. And we, the Ghanaian people, are introducing vote buying into a game. So we are not voting because of policies anymore. We are voting for the purpose of who offers more. And I tell you, let me be sincere with you, put this in a record. That before any third political party or any third force will emerge, there are two things that are going to happen. If it doesn't happen, there is no way from all the campaign I have done this year and what I have seen, the policies I have had, I will tell you there are two ways a third, for a third party will emerge. One, either that third party has over $200 million and is willing to buy the vote, then you become a third force. You must put money over $200 okay. million. Dollars. Then you buy votes like the NDP and the NPP are doing. You become a third force. Well, or number two. How, how, you, how would you do it with I'm the coming, $200 million? I'm Okay. I'm not, I'll, give you, I'll give you one. I'll give you the second one. Number two, only when the people begin to change their minds and attitudes, which is going to be very difficult. When the people begin to live comfortable and live well, and they are now going to use... They have changed their mind and attitude and said, look, now we are voting for policies and not m those who offer money. That is only when a third force will emerge in Ghana, from my experience, from all the campaigns I've done and the things I've done for people. If not, we'll continue to be with these two political political parties. I you see. can let them debate it. Sir. You can debate it on all media platforms. This is what happened, I regard it. So are you planning to meet with um, former President Mahama? Yes, I'm meeting him this afternoon. Oh, okay. He just got back from Sitima. We are going to meet with him. Okay. We are going to plead with him and talk to him. He's a reasonable human being. He's been a former president. And I don't think okay. former President Mahama wants to see this country go to war. No. Okay. But I think that he also he's not asking the, the, the court to, uh, to turn the vote in his favor. That's not what he's asking. He's asking that the right thing must be done. Oh, okay. And if the right thing must be done, this is what he's asking for. Then we will also tell him that this is the way the right thing should be done. Mm. Mahama is not saying that, let me be president by all means. This is not what Mahama is saying. This is not what President Mahama is saying. Are you with me? In all yeah. the engagement that I've listened to him and he watch him on TV and radio and he addressing his party members, I did not see anywhere he said that, by all means, that they must turn the vote for me to be the president. I see. Am I, are you with me? Yeah, I'm with but you, But he's sir. saying that the, the will of the people must not be uh, subverted. Okay. And if he's saying the will of the people must not be subverted, let's find out what was the will of the people. Mm. Are you with me? Yeah. That, and the best way to find out the will of the people is not just... An, uh, it's good to have an independent audit account. But if you have an independent okay. audit account, okay. who is going to be the judge in this case after the independent audit account has been done? Who gives the order for an independent uh, audit account? It's, mm -hmm. it's not going to be. If it's John Mama who is going to do it, President, former President Mama who is going to do it, then it's going to be a private thing for him. But if we're looking for a public document that can prove the innocence of certain people and prove the mismanagement or corruption of other people, then we need an institution that will order such kind of independent audit account to be done. Okay.
If I ask for an independent auditor, it's for my consumption. Mm -hmm. I cannot use it for the public because if I come out and say, oh, who gave you that order? Who did that? How credible is the independent auditor account? Who gave that? The court must come out and say, look, I want this is a credible institution, accounting firm. I want you to do an independent audit account. And it takes time. It has to go through police station by police station because they are not just going to take your document and look at it. They are, they, they, they are professional. They know what they are going to do. Are you with me? Okay, FM. For me, one, in this one, election, one thing I seven. saw and I was very unhappy about it, and I, I would say it everywhere, and I want the President of the Republic to investigate this. The issue of military and police brutality against its own citizens. The killing of six people in the course, which is not necessary. I have always said that if somebody would die for Hassan Erika to be president, I will never be president. My interest today, as I speak to you, is peace. But besides peace too, I am asking the government of the day to investigate the military and the police who were rampantly shooting. Because one thing I know, I have trained as a military one way or the other in Germany. Mm -hmm. There is nobody who has lived in Germany, studied in Germany, and never... Be there. You have one year military training. Okay. And I know that one thing about military is that respect is one key thing for citizens and their people. And their mandate is to protect their own, not to destroy their own. So if, when I saw military push, removing weapons okay, and facing the people and shooting, I asked myself whether these were real military men or not. Hmm. Because a real military man trained will not take his weapon and shoot innocent people who were not attacking them. Are you with me? The people went there to vote. The people were not attacking anybody with weapons or guns. So when the police and the military were shooting and said, Omumba, of course, from, I don't want to accept this. This has pushed everything to make sure justice is, is, is prevailed here. But I tell you, the people run and say, no peace, uh, no justice, no peace. No. It's the other way around. It should be no peace, no justice. Because it is only when there is peace you get justice. Am I right? But if we keep shouting, no justice, no peace, no justice, mm -hmm. no peace, you can never have a violent country where you get justice. Mm -hmm. You must have a peaceful country to get justice. Okay. Okay. FM. Are you with me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So let's promote peace in order to get justice. So I am calling on all Ghanaians, including the NDC, all political parties, including you, the media, this time around, let's all Work, walk towards peace and console each other and let each other understand look mistakes have come no institution that will not make certain mistakes but when they make mistakes some people have to pay the price for it some people are paying the price of some people's mistakes okay let's let it go okay, okay? if yeah, we want okay. to go to court let's go to court if we don't want to go to court let's go down and cool down our people and let them understand look yes we we disagree with the results but we accept it are you with me? We yeah. disagree with the results. Okay. We disagree with the verdict, but yet we accept it. It's just one way. Okay. It, will, it will move mountains. It will make Ghana a lovely place. Look, we are all one. You, me, me NDC, and people. The only difference is that when you move from one party to another, then you become NDC. When you okay. move from NDC to APC, you become APC. You Tomorrow you are fine. But at the end of the day, we are Ghanaian people. Mm -hmm. One blood, one nation. Why do we want to see war in our country? It will help us. Okay? It will not. I plead with Ghanaian. I beg them. Everybody, anywhere. Look, if there's war today, how many people can we take around? You cannot even run 100 meters. You sitting down in your radio station, can you run 100 meters? No. If you run 100 meters, you pant like, like a, a dog. Sorry, I'm not calling you a dog. <laughs> but you pant like a dog. Mm -hmm. How many people can run? Look at all women in the camp in, 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 sitting there eating food. It's a problem. We have the disabled. We have children. What for? What power is that? What, what, what is this? Right? Where are we going? Some people have even five cars in their houses. If you are going to run, you run and leave one. You only take one car and run. They'll come and bend the rest of the car. Where are we going? For what? Are we not promoting the democracy? Does democracy tell that we should go okay. the, the, the issue of violence, you even when we are not happy? No, 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 my brother. Look.
I don't talk for NDC, I don't talk for MPP. Okay. I talk for Ghana. And I'm begging Ghanaians. Hassan Ayerga is begging you. Please, please, please. Let peace prevail. There are many elections that will come. Many will come. Let's work towards the next election. Thank you. And pray to God. I'm calling the Muslim leaders, the Christian leaders. Don't stay in your rooms and be youth. Come out and advocate for peace. Don't sit in your rooms and say, Bamu Yada, Bamu Yada, Bamu Yada. Young Kuri, Bamu Yada will not take us anywhere. Kuri, Young Kuri, you can take Bari Bari, Kati, Bari, Kaya, Kazo, Kazi, Sanu, Sanu. Let's stop it. It won't help us. If they have stolen the village, let it be. Let them take it. It's okay. Thieves, thieves also come and steal us. So what do we do if a thief steals you? If you can't find a thief, you carry the things and help him. If a thief comes to your house and you can't, you can't beat him, what do you do? You carry the load, he, whatever he takes, even the TV, tell him, where do I have to drop it for you? Put it on your head and go and drop it for him so I'll pay. Am I right? Yeah. So if we think that somebody has stolen the verdict, uh, let him go. Four years is very close. The Ghanaian people will see. Okay. You see, that, one, that is that, uh, that uh, 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 patient that will make the Ghanaian people love you more. Mm. Mm. When you accept, when they know that you have been, so your, your vote has been told and you are patient about it. It gives you more votes. It makes people love you more. Okay. So, hmm. uh, my brother, today... Thank you. You're, you have given us a big platform. Yeah. We have spoken. And I'm very happy that uh, you and I have had this. We are also much yes. appreciative of what you've uh, spoken with us, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Thank Okay, bye-bye. Dr. Hassan Ayari Gani, I didn't Okay, FM. Okay. 101.7.